Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. So in this video, let's solve model question paper solution of electric circuit analysis on model A3. Okay, just show the problem. So they're given a circuit and the circuit shown in the figure, find I1 of zero plus D I1 by D X of zero plus a2 of 0 plus, that is actually A2 of 0 plus, and dA2 divided by dt, it is dt of 0 plus. So now look into this uh, switch condition now, arrow. So position of switch K. So switch symbol of switch K implies that. You need to know the behavior of switch. K is closed. So at t equals to zero, K is closed. So now we have to observe at tail end, at t equals to zero minus, which is open. And again, at t equals to zero plus, which is closed. That you have to write here. So K implies that K is closed at T equals zero plus and the same switch is opened at T equals zero minus. So zero minus is the switch open irate, zero plus is the switch close irate. I explained about this. If this is a switch, you have to check in this problem, they given like this arrow nodi tail end a little zero minus at T equals to zero is the switch close irate. So before closing, switch open t equals to zero minus. t equals to zero plus. On that basis, you are writing here. So now to find the values of I1, you can see here I1, I2 at t equals to zero plus. So before that, you have to look into both conditions. Let us consider when t equals zero minus, switch k is switch k is open. K is open so that the circuit which looks like this. Switch is open so that there will be a register and here we will be having register and capacitor. Similarly, here we will be having register and inductor. So before closing switch, the circuit which will be acts under steady state always, so that at t equals to zero minus steady state condition occur. Steady state condition occurs. So what it says, if there is a capacitor that will be act as C is open circuit and L will be act as short circuit. So steady state conditionally, Capacitor open circuit are acting with the other tara inductor short circuit are acting with the. So that I will redraw the circuit now again. The capacitor that will be open circuit. So open circuit the guy like VC of zero minus zero the before closing switch I am writing. Similarly, inductor will be short circuit. This inductor is short circuit. So the total voltage is given hundred volts. And register values I'm writing 10 ohm, and here also 20 ohm. It is connected to open circuit so that you can call that 20 ohm register as redundant register so that I1 of 0 minus. So open circuit radike I1 of 0 minus and 0 amperes. Therefore, I1 of 0 minus equals 0 amperes. Only I1 of 0 minus is not same as I1 of 0 plus because there is a capacitor. And then when the inductor is you can write it as I1 of 0 minus equals to I1 of 0 plus. I can write current flows of the inductor change before closing switch and after closing switch. But here you can see, only flow of the current I2 of 0 minus. So I2 of 0 minus flow of the inductor so that I2 of 0 minus is the same as I2 of 0 plus. I can current flows through the inductor. Inductor, the current flows through the inductor cannot change 
instantaneous. That's why. Okay. So you need to find this I2 of zero. So you have the 20 ohm resistor, redundant resistor. So you'll be having one more 20 ohm. Just write as per ohms law, 100 volts divided by two resistors. That is 10 plus 20 ohm. You can get 100 divided by 30. So you can get I2 of zero minus 100 divided by 30. So you can get 3.333 amperes. 333 3, 3 amperes. This is I2 of 0 plus. So I2 of 0 plus fine. So now we got the value of I2 of 0 plus. That is nothing but 3.333 amperes. So capacitor could be the VC of 0 minus fine. So you have VC of 0 minus fine. So to find VC of 0 minus VC of 0 minus we just read it 20 ohm resistor now with a redundant resistor so that that will be short circuit. So VC of zero minus is nothing but now the voltage across this is a VC of zero minus initial value of capacitor initial voltage value of capacitor. So that is nothing but 20 into I2 of zero minus. Okay. So I2 of zero minus you already know that is 20 into 3.333 you can get vc of 0 minus that is same as vc of 0 plus akandre voltage across capacitor cannot change instantaneously that's why the values are same 20 into 3.333 you can get 66.66 volts 66.66 volts this is vc of 0 plus that is nothing but vc of 0 minus so I2 of 0 plus fine madidira. I1 of 0 minus fine madidira. It is not same as I1 of 0 plus because of capacitor. Okay. So Ivaga, before closing switch condition I2. Next, after closing switch. After closing switch, other parameter fine madhuki vaga. I1 of 0 plus di1 of 0 plus divided by dt. Similarly, di2 of 0 plus divided by dt that you have to find so now at t equals at t equals 0 plus switch is sorry switch is closed switch close if the switch is closed this 10 ohm resistor will be act as redundant so that that will be at a short circuit so that the circuit becomes like this the resistor is short circuited. Then we'll be having one voltage source plus minus 100 volts. Similarly, we'll be having a resistor and capacitor. Similarly, we'll be having I2. That is nothing but 20 ohm and inductor value. So here you need to find the value of I1 of 0 plus. I1 of 0 plus we have to find. Here I1 of 0 plus is flowing. Here I2 of 0 plus is flowing. I2 of 0 plus value already got there. That is nothing but 3.333 amperes. Register value got there 20 ohm. And initial value of capacitor got there. That is 66.66 volts. And delay value 20 ohm and one more is 100. So now we can easily get I1 of 0 plus by applying KVL. So I1 of 0 plus before that apply KVL. So 100 equals 20 into I1 of 0 plus. And you already know the value across voltage, sorry, value across the capacitor, voltage value that is 66. Point 66 six, you can get the value of i1 of 0 plus equal 100 so i1 because e looping matra k will apply martha either i can i1 flow at the i1 flow at this branch that is nothing but it is flowing from a to b b to c c to d d to a so at the all looping matra apply martha either so i getting 100 minus 66.66 six divided by 20. 
So you can get I1 of 0 plus S. 100 minus 66.66 66 divided by 20. You can get 1.667. I1 of 0 plus is 1.667 amperes. So now we got the value of I1 of 0 plus, I2 of 0 plus. Next, you need to find derivatives. So to find D I1 of 0 plus by DT, so that to find d i1 of 0 plus divided by dt apply kvl to loop 1 this is loop 1 and this is loop 2 apply kvl to like KVL to loop A, B, C, D, A, E, F, I, B, F. Okay. So now 100 equals 20 into I1 of 0 plus. Okay. And what is the voltage across capacitor? So that is nothing but 1 by C into integration of I1 of 0 plus into dt plus initial value of capacitor that is 66.66 initial voltage plus the value of voltage across capacitor when the switch is closed so that i1 of 0 plus so differentiate this equation differentiate with respect to t so you can get 100 that is nothing but 0 equals 20 into d i1 of 0 plus divided by dt plus integration and differentiation will get cancelled you can get i1 of 0 plus divided by c plus 0 so we can easily get the derivative of current flows through the first loop that is d i1 by dt so i can write here d I1 of 0 plus divided by dt that is 20 into di1 that is equals to you send this to left side that becomes minus minus I1 of 0 plus divided by c. So the value of this is I1 of 0 plus is just now calculated I1 of 0 plus is minus 1.667 divided by the value of capacitor they are only given in the problem that is 1 microfarad. The value of capacitor is 1 microfarad. So it is nothing but 1 into 10 to the power minus 6. So now you can directly get by substituting in your calculator d i1 of 0 plus divided by dt. Therefore, d i1, d i1 of 0 plus divided by dt equals, so 1 by 20 into minus 1.667 divided by 1 into 10 to the power minus 6. After calculating this, minus 1.667 divided by 1 microfarad divided by 20. So you can get minus 83.35 minus 83.35 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 ampere per second. So just final value we just where cross periwave once you may get this value. Okay. Similarly to find d i2 by dt. So now if you want to find d i2, I will write here to find d i2 
of 0 plus divided by dt. So now we apply KVL. Apply KVL to only A, B, E, F, C, D, A. Means this loop. You have to apply KVL to this loop by neglecting this. So that you can get the equations like this. 100 equals 100 equal 20 into i2 of 0 plus plus l into d i2 of 0 plus divided by dt. So here unknown is d i2 by dt and value of l is 1. So that you can substitute here. 100 equals 20 into i2 is 3.333 plus 1 into d i2 of 0 plus divided by dt. So you can get d i2 of 0 plus divided by dt equals 100 minus 20 into 3.333. So you can get 100 minus 20 into 3.333. 33.34. get 33.34 ampere per second square. This is d i2 of 0 plus divided by dt. So if you are having any doubts regarding this, feel free to write in a comment box and it is very easy. So first you need to find the value of current before closing switch, then initial value of voltage across capacitor, then to find I1, apply KVL to first loop, then solve. To find di 2 by dt, apply KVL to A, B, E by neglecting first one, you can get the answers. So I hope you are getting this. If you are having any doubts regarding this, feel free to write in a comment box and also if you like this video, your maximum and subscribers. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Prepare well again.